Here is your first preview of Dockyard as you earn 30,000 Lifesaver Trinkets. Enjoy. Today joining me is Naxus. Hey everyone. So we are in Attacker Spawn and we have two main routes to choose from. You've got the left route over there and the main route here. So let's just run up here because the main objective is just in that area. But first of all, we have our little boathouse here. Oh, Boaty McBoathouse, my old favorite. It gives you a proper proper feel for being in a boat type area, doesn't it? It does, it makes you feel like you're in a dockyard. A ver very much so, I agree. So running up here, we then come across the first objective, which is the EV. Now this is an escort map. And there's two very big things to take note of here. First of all, the MG nest up at the top, and also this repairable door at the side. Now, this is a heavily contested area, isn't it? It is very heavily contested. I mean, if you don't get it shut pretty quickly, the defenders have a, have a clear run on your engineers trying to repair the EV, and can cause you all sorts of problems if you don't get it sorted. Mm. In that area over there as well, you often find defenders set up, don't you? Yes, yeah, they're set up in there, in there and also in the canal, which we'll come across at some point later. Mm. The cool thing though is that if you are an engineer and you are repairing that, you can have teammates up on this ramp to give you some cover fire as well. You can cover in there, you can cover down here, and also you can cover in that building too, which is another area which we'll look at a little bit later on. Um, looking at the other side of this building though, we've got this section up here, so you've got this little stair set, and you have another route down the side. Now what leads into here? So this is where the uh, secondary route out of the spawn leads. Um, as you can see, it comes down here, behind the little van, and into, into the playable area around here. Cool. And then this one here, that's from the boat team of Boathouse, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you can either go through the way we showed you before, or you can go through the secondary route into the boat team of Boathouse, do a little jump, and land here. Nice. Cool. And then along with this area, which gives you a nice kind of overview of the first objective, you have a standing up uh, space over there. So I'm just going to quickly run down. So this is back the way we came from, from the spawn. You can then either go straight on into where it is, left to go on that side route, and also right into um, the Royal Nelson Boat Club. So we just run across up here. Yellow pipe leads the way. This brings you to that little balcony, which gives you a nice, nice oversight of this area. Yeah, as you can see, you can you can take so much advantage from having this this point. Um, defenders can find it really, really difficult to try and set up outside these doors if you have this position, and it can be very useful even to cover the doors below if you've not been able to repair them. All right, lovely, cool. So let's start moving on. Um, on the so we talked about the MG nest earlier. If we go down the left side here, now this is where a hell of a lot of fighting takes place, partly because of the ammo crate that we have there, but also mainly because of the amount of vision and power that this area gives you. Yes, if you have someone on your team who, you know, is quite good at being a, uh, like a lookout or, a, you know, covering places, this place is very, very important. And we found that during playtests, most, uh, most of the conflict happens around this area. Mm. If we carry on around this corner here, we then get into the infamous MG nest. And just by, like, jumping on it, you can see the amount of area and sight you get around the EV is crazy. So if you don't have those doors closed, you can literally see and shoot everyone. And also the roof on that building, there is not one there. So if you're arty, you can call in artillery from here. You can throw your airstrike marker down. You can cure a laser in there too. You can really attack that EV quite heavily. So as an attacker, you need to control these buildings. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, if you want to give your engineers the breathing room to be able to get to actually repair the EV, then this room is a must have. It, it, you push the defenders back cause all sorts of trouble for them and hold so many areas, it's, it's so key. Mm. And the good thing with this map is that you're not generally just fighting to you know keep the area of the EV. If you want to really push out, you need to control this corner of the map in order to get it out. And the good thing with this little area too is if you push on forward, you get this little window set up here, which leads you onto the next section. The EV comes down this road, circle, like builds around it, around the corner, and goes down there. And you can use this window to your advantage to try and control the next spot. You can see up there there's another MG nest. So similarly to this MG, you, you know, you're going to want to control that. You can really help the MG, the, the EV come down and defend it from the defenders. Yeah, this is this is another really, you know, very, very important spot. I mean, it has more impact on the, um, the second half of this objective, but it is very useful to have as well right at the start. Mm. Uh, one spot we haven't talked about yet is this blue building here too. Now this offers an interesting flank route, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, it, it, the, being able to flank between here um, as a defender or an attacker is really, really useful, causing all sorts of problems, popping out of nowhere, making interesting gameplay angles to play, and also just you know being able to aid your team at any point by swapping between those two flanks really easily. Mm. I like what you said earlier, how that window there gives you uh, a good vantage point for the second section as the EV is going across the bridge. As a defender, this flank route is so strong as well because you can you can push down the river, which is a section we're going to talk about in a later video 
come into this side bit, flank behind the EV, come out, and then take out the squad. And again, if you're being a sneaky Kira or a Nader or, or someone who can put down a lot of damage in a quick amount of time, you can just take out everyone behind the EV if they're there. So, very important flank route. As an attacker, you want to keep an eye on it. As an defender, you want to try and use it as much as possible. And uh, that is it for our first preview of Dockyard today. So congratulations on earning those 30,000 lifesaver trinkets. For the next Dockyard preview, you'll need to earn 15,000 Wrecking Ball trinkets. So get into game and get earning. Thank you very much, Naxus, for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. And we'll see you in the next one.